Ladies and gentlemen, referee John Anderson has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO James, the Texecutioner Ben. All right, I'm here with the winner, James Vick. Another excellent victory over a very tough guy in, in Joe Duffy. And it seemed like towards the second round, you started really controlling the distance better. Did you see that uppercut before you landed it? Was that something that you were looking for? Yeah, first off, man, y'all give it up to Joe Duffy, man. That is a serious dude, man. I mean, he, he could beat half these guys in the top 15 right now. They just, they're just like, they don't want to fight him just like they don't want to fight me. And yeah, it's, um, you know, we, me and my coaches, we study film. We study film, and I knew all the, the front attacks, my knees, which are, you know, my, my money move, my knees, my uppercuts, my front kicks. I landed a front kick the round before. I knew all the, the center. He stands really good, boxing stance with his chin tuck, but the disadvantage of that is the, the, the front attacks from Muay Thai and kickboxing and stuff like that come into play. Let's look at the knockout. Take a look at the big shot that you landed here. You timed this perfectly. Boom, right as he's moving in, you clipped him with the uppercut. And man, you want to talk about a win at the buzzer. I mean, he literally stopped it as the buzzer was going off. Yeah, I could tell he was hurt pretty bad from the first, the first shot when I landed the uppercut, though, because um, when we hit the ground, I thought about not even hitting him again. I thought, I thought he, his eyes rolled back hard enough, but I guess it kind of woke him up when he, when he hit, and then he tried to stand, you know. And immediately after the fight was stopped, you yelled over at Sean Shelby. You started asking for fights. What were you yelling out at him? Man, I, you know what? I'm 8-1 I'm and one in the UFC, guys. That is one of the best records in the entire organization. These guys don't want to fight me. How many 8-1 guys in the UFC are not ranked? I'm the only one. These, I've called out Poirier, Pettis, uh, Justin Gaethje, uh, Evan Dunham, uh, Eddie Alvarez. I've called all these guys out on social media and, and trolled them all, and they act like they don't know who I am. I'm 8-1 in the UFC. You know exactly who I am. I want that main event spot uh, in, in, uh, in my home state in Texas. Um, uh, August 8th, uh, fe uh, February 18th. I want that spot, the main event at the, uh, in Austin, Texas, please. Will you keep winning, sir, and you will be undeniable. I just want to thank my team, my team, Team Lloyd Irvin, all my coaches back home, um, Coach Cena from Ironside, all my team, Jamal, uh, Greg, Coach Yusuf, all my, all my coaches, thank you so much, my teammates, I'm in, I, this means the world to me. Madison Square Garden, this is a dream come true. Thank you guys so much. James Vick, ladies and gentlemen.